I'm uh, Jack J. Welcome to the Riot API guide. I'm not going to monetize this video or anything, but uh, I will just do a shout out to my own product, which is the Itero Drafting Coach. It's an artificial intelligence tool that can optimize your draft by telling you which of your champions are the best to pick. You can either get it at itero.gg or you can get a downloadable version which comes into game with you uh, at Overwolf. Just search Overwolf Itero Drafting Coach. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to video four in the Riot API series. Uh, now, what we've got to so far is in the first video, uh, we learned about the API request. Uh, and then the next few, we kind of built on it and we started going from a summoner name into a list of, um, into your summoner ID, into a list of matches, and then found out information about one particular match for one particular player, which is the same player as the summoner that you typed in right at the very start of that uh, of that process. So that's where we're up to now. Um, if you haven't watched them, then pro probably best you do. The next step is actually to then take that whole match list, the list of matches, and to start looping through them. So rather than just looking at one game, we're gonna look at the most re uh, all of your most recent games together in, in one go. Now to do that, the best thing to do is actually to wrap some stuff into a function. Uh, again, if, if if you are completely new to Python, then it's probably best that you do like a, an intro to Python YouTube course uh, just to get a better understanding. And then once you're kind of familiar, uh, not completely, you don't have to be a professional, but at least once you know what I'm talking about, um, then come back here and, and, and pick up where you left off. Uh, otherwise, I, I may lose you if I skip through some of the Python stuff by accident. Uh, so what we're going to do is create a function. Uh, now, if you are ignoring me and you're don't know how to use Python, but you're still watching the video, then a function will just uh, execute the code that happens with inside it, uh, sort of isolated to what's going on out anywhere else. So if I uh, write a function called func that takes no arguments and prints hello, that means I can call it wherever I want, and it prints hello. Uh, with that done, what we're going to do is actually create uh, the get match data function. And we know to get match data, what we need is uh, the, this Riot API. So we're going to grab that. And I'm just going to put it down here uh, just so I have reference to, to, to what I'm creating. So uh, what you can see is the first part of this is uh, the actual request. And within that request, it has our region and it has the match ID. And then has one argument, which is basically just what is your API key. So we're going to recreate it. Now there is contention within the Python community about the best way of creating a string, but I'm, I'm just going to use the way that I enjoy. Um, and if it's not the best way, then so be it. Uh, and we're just going to create the URL again, but using the function, uh, using the arguments from the function. So it starts like that. And then the next thing it wants is the region. So we type in region as an argument rather than a string. And then we grab everything that happens after that all the way up to the match ID. And then we grab the match ID, which again will be an argument rather than a string. And then add the API key right at the very end. And again, just what's the API key as an argument. And we'll print that out at the end just so you see what's happening in a bit more detail. Now, what do we need? We need the region match ID, need the API key. So just in case you've kind of forgotten, because it feels like forever since the first video, the region we're having is uh, Europe. The match ID, uh, we'll grab this one here just as the example, but we'll update this at another time. And uh, the API key we set right at the very beginning. So I'm just going to come back down and uh, reset it again. Then if we type these into the argument, uh, into the function and what you'll see hopefully if all things have gone well uh, is some data about uh, is the url sorry so this is the url we'll be sending off and we'll just double check it works by copying it into our browser and set up the data so again as per all the other videos we get the data by doing requests.get and then the url and then extract it by doing dot json Awesome. And then we'll return that. So now when we set this off, it's going to return all the data about that game. Uh, now, 
To make this one more specific, all we're going to do is rather than return all the information, we're only going to return, um, we're just going to return the information about your player. So we're going to have to do something a bit, a bit complicated there, which I spoke about in the third video, which is working out uh, which, which player you are in this list of participants and then finding your data according to that. So we're just going to write a new function called um, uh, did win. Uh, that's a terrible name, but I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to it. And what that's going to accept is a PUUID and some match data, which is this stuff here. And I'll just show you what I'm doing outside of the function, uh, just so you have an understanding. We have this match data. What we're going to do is go into the metadata, go into the participants, find the PUUID here and, and which um, in which index it, it is appears, and then we'll extract that from the information. This is the exact same as the third video. So if that doesn't make sense, watch the third video again. So we start here with the match data, we go to the metadata, we go to the participants, and then we get the index of the PUID. This is what we did here again, previous video. Uh, and we'll call this the participant index. And then what we do is we go into the match data, we go into the info, we go into the participants, type in, we give it whichever index ends up coming up here. So let's say it's the first one, and then we go oh, win. True. Okay, cool. So uh, we'll just copy that, except now we're replacing that zero with the participant ID. And we'll just return that directly. So now if we put that in, uh, what we'll first need is a PUUID, which remember we got way back in, I believe the first or second video, which is uh, this one here. And we got that from player information. So if we come back down, we can just go player information, open it up again, grab that PUUID. Boom. And then uh, just for complete clarity, I will stick it here. Okay. And then when we say did win, we give the PUID, we give that match data and it says false. So we lost that game. Cool. Now, if we print this, again, we're going to get the same information, but what we can do now is build our loop. So again, if you are very new to Python, then um, a loop just goes through a list and prints uh, and then does something with each of them. So it goes that one, that one, that one, right? So remember we had the matches from, I believe the second video, open that up and we do the match in matches, print match. So yeah, just goes through that list and prints each one of them. Except this time, what we want to do is every time we go through the loop, we want to, print the match, we want to get the match data. So uh, I'll update that to match ID. So for every match ID, go through and get the data. And once you've got the data, find out if they won that game or not. So this is basically my recent win rate. I lost, I won, I won, I lost, I won, I won, I won. Right? And this would be the same if you looked me up on OPGG or whatever uh, at this current time. So now we've been able to loop through all the list of the matches and find out information uh, about each individual game uh, and return some information about it from from my account. So it's always uh, relative to to me as a summoner. Uh, so that that brings an end to, to this video, and uh, I'll see you at the next one.